my folks, this is Donnie D. Just wanted to take a minute to make a pretty quick review and a quick look video of the scope that I selected for my Savage uh, Mark II FVSR. It is a BSA 6 to 24 by 44 uh, rifle scope. The reason I selected BSA most, uh, mostly was because I, I have another BSA scope on a different 22 rifle that I've been really happy with so far. Uh, <clears throat> I've used this scope uh, not a long time, but I've got to range 600 range through it at ranges of 25, 50, 75, and 100 yards so far. I have gone uh, from the 25 uh, or through all these ranges with my turret adjustments uh, back and forth several times. Everything holds dead on zero, returns to zero perfectly. In fact, I took it out this morning. Uh, last time I shot it, it didn't stay long, but everything was still working beautifully. So, so far I'm really, really happy with this scope and I highly recommend it. But I did want to give you a little look at the scope, so if you're interested in one, you may want to take a look at this one. And, and uh, I'll try to give you the features of the scope. <coughs> it is a second focal plane scope. It has, it does have fully multi-coated uh, optics and comes with, does come with a limited lifetime warranty. Uh, it also comes with these 30 millimeter tubes, I believe they're not 625 height, uh, which is the high, uh, high rings, but uh, I think I'm going to keep them because so far with those high rings I've had no problems uh, being dead on with this scope, so I think I'm just going to keep them like it is. I don't hate to change something that's working. Uh, also it does come with lens covers, these little cheap rubber band style bikini type lens covers, but that's all you need even though the uh, the Midway site says it doesn't come with them. It did have these on it, and that's all you really need. So starting at the back of the scope really quickly, it does have a fast focus eyepiece, which is a nice feature. Also, here's your power ring, 6 to 24, nice and smooth with just enough resistance in it to, to feel substantial. 30mm uh, tube, which lets in plenty of light, at least it does for me. I've had no problem with that part of it either. Also, it does have, like I said, the tactical style turrets. Uh, quarter inch MOA adjustable uh, finger adjustable also they are zero resettable which is really important for the type of shooting I do easily done just by uh, loosening up and removing this allen key lifting your uh, turret cap and putting it back down at zero and tightening it back makes it really easy to adjust it also has the side parallax or side focus adjustment which I prefer over the front parallax adjustment just a lot easier to be to do and also a lot easier to be accurate uh, from 10 yards out to infinity, of course. Works really good. Uh, also, it, the scope comes with this 3-inch um, uh, sunshade, which is another pretty good feature for a scope this price range. Kind of hard to believe it comes with it at that price uh, uh, mark, but it does. And it comes in handy for me because the area that I shoot at, my little range, you do have a bit of a glare problem at certain times of the afternoon. Also, the reticle is glass etched, which is another pretty good feature for, uh, for a scope of this price range. But anyway, I did want to just give you a look in case you're looking for a scope uh, for a rifle such as this. Or it actually is uh, supposed to be uh, compatible with high power rifles. This being a 22, I don't think I'm going to have any problems with it whatsoever. Uh, but anyway, I uh, just want to give you a quick look at it in case you're interested. But for now, this is Donnie D, and I will see you later. Bye.